hey good morning from a very wet Universal Orlando Resort and uh, we're here back again to check out some more Christmas stuff ride some more rides and hopefully get on Hagrid today we're gonna start at Universal Studios Florida again uh, this one closes a little bit earlier today and then we're gonna park hop over to Islands of Adventure and finish our day over there again um, so if you enjoy the video throughout if you give us a thumbs up do appreciate it. it really does help us out a lot and if you could hit that subscribe button and bell icon to be notified when we post all new videos that'll be great let's go make some movie magic back here in Hollywood again Schwab's pharmacy now this is cool because this is an ice cream parlor here serving haagen -Dazs, but over at Universal of Japan they've changed that into a Mario and Luigi cafe so we're really excited to go and uh, experience that at Universal Studios Japan uh, I'm gonna go in here quickly into the Universal Orlando Pass Holder Lounge and buy myself a coat because it's raining and I don't have a coat or a poncho so it seems smarter right I got myself a coat. Universal Orlando annual pass holder. Finally got a coat. I've got a thing about coats. Um, I don't like things being on the back. I well, I've got a thing about clothes in general. I don't like things being on the back. Uh, this does have something on the back. Becky will show you now. So this is a big deal. <laughs> I know it sounds so stupid, but this is a big deal for me getting something with something on the back. Like, I just don't do it. It's it's a big thing. It's I've cheated myself out of so many t-shirts and hoodies and things like that because there's been way too many things just on the back, and I'm like, nah, not happening, guys. Um, so this is gonna be a nice chill day for us today. It's raining, so you know we want to be inside, but we're gonna stop off in the Simpsons. Land Springfield, USA. We get ourselves a couple of tacos from Bumblebee's uh, taco cart, and uh, then we're going to go and have another ride on Men in Black: Alien Attack. Yesterday, I got what did I get? I think it's like four hundred nine thousand or something. Four hundred six, four hundred nine thousand, something like that. First run in eighteen months. I'm quite happy with that. Becky got one hundred ninety six thousand, so. She's got to step her game up a little bit. Uh, but I gave her a few pointers when we got off, so fingers crossed she'll be able to uh, really pump those numbers up. They're rookie numbers, those. It's a Bumblebee Man's taco truck. Uh, so we've got Korean beef taco, chicken taco, and carne asada taco. Ten ninety nine for two. Um, I'm not sure if you can get pass order discount here. It's like a stand, so maybe not. Bumblebee man! Crusty Burger as well. Radioactive man is over here. Duff beer for me, duff beer for you. These look quite nice actually. So we've got carne asada and we've got a chicken taco. Um, these were 10 53 after pass holder discount. 10 99 before. Oh yeah, tax on and things like that. So we did get discount on them. Uh, but it was cool. The, the service was a little bit slow, but she was prepping them all fresh. So these aren't just being sat left on the side. Um, they look good. You get a good portion of um, tortilla chips there as well. Not bad. Those tacos were so, so good. For the price of them, you cannot go wrong. Honestly, get them. Get them. If you're in Springfield, USA, Bumblebee Man's taco truck is amazing. Um, as I said before, we're going to go up to uh, Men in Black Alien Attack now, give that a whirl, post it a 10 minute wait. We normally do single rider, but I think we're going to actually do it uh, together this time and see how we get on. See if she can beat me. I don't think so. We're in the queue for Men in Black and the uh, Welcome to Scary sign, welcome to Kerry, the sign, the HHN house. It's so sad that this is, we weren't able to make it for this. I really wanted to come for the 30th anniversary, 30 fears, 30 years, 30 fears. But we didn't make it, unfortunately. Welcome to the universe and you. We hope you enjoy this classic adventure into the unknown. You're located from the 1964 New York World Expo. 
Since the beginning of recorded time, man has searched the cosmos, reached deep into the secrets of the universe for evidence of life from other galaxies. Are we alone? Join us now as we take you on a Universe and you program terminated. Access granted for MIB training. Hurry up, rookie. You haven't found So this is what we're saying about the immigration tour that you can get down the bottom. Uh, so we will see if we can get that done in a minute. Getting our guns. We're going to be MIB agents. 416, slight. Suit up, y'all. And the last suit will ever wear. Yes! Yes! Galaxy Defenders! Yes! We did it! Another pretty awesome run through on Men in Black. Uh, we actually did that twice. Um, so yesterday I got 406,000. Uh, today I got 416,000 first run and then 465 the second run. So I had a good improvement. Becky on the first run uh, yesterday she got 196,000 and today she got 200 and I think it's 255 or 260. Um, so she had a really good improvement as well. Um, the second one was a little bit less but still you know very reasonable for um, a rookie but we're galaxy defenders now yeah. galaxy defenders yes love that ride please universal just update it maybe change the ride system up a little tiny bit but do not remove it because it is I think that's my favorite ride here but we've got Okay, it's my favorite ride in Universal Studios, Florida, um, but not in Universal Orlando Resort. I don't know, actually. I do like Velocicoaster and Hagrid, so it's hard to, hard to tell. Um, we're going to go into uh, Diagon Alley. So you've got some really amazing shops here in Diagon Alley. Weasley's Wizard Weezers. As you come round, you've got that amazing reveal of Gringotts Bank and the dragon on top. Here, the train going over our head. Here, you've got the leaky cauldron, uh, and that will serve a British menu fish and chips, banger sandwich specialty chicken sandwich, all yeah. those kind of specialties. As I said before, you've got the quality Quidditch supplies, your Weasley's Wizard Weezers. This is fantastic because they've got loads of movement in the shop windows and set pieces, things like that. So um, you've also got the ability to purchase interactive wands and perform little tasks with your wand. Um, so here you can do little incantations and water will spray out. Um, over here you'll have things move. Just here you can get the signature drink here in Wisdom World and that's butter beer. So you can get cold butter beer, hot butter beer, uh, ice cream, everything like that. coaster motion simulator dark ride um, such a very cool ride 
quick trip on the Hogwarts Express over to Wizard World of Harry Potter and Hogsmeade and we're going to take another ride on the Velocicoaster today. Um, hopefully maybe going to get front row, but we don't know yet, it depends. Posted at a 20 minute wait, Hagrid is posted at 45, so we're going to jump on Velocicoaster and then get in the queue for Hagrid's just after that. Um, and then that'll be just over Park Close. The lights look fantastic here, don't they? <laughs> Two days in a row we've gone from studios to adventures on the train and it started light when we got on. <laughs> it's been dark when we got off because we've queued for that long. Look at these displays though. Aren't they cool? And then you've got that reveal here of Hogwarts Castle. Absolutely insane. Probably my favourite land in the world actually. Looks incredible. Welcome to Jurassic Park. This is a good land as well, but it's been a bit of a weird one because you've got kind of a mixture of Jurassic Park and Jurassic World in here now. Because the whole Velocicoaster area is Jurassic World. But we've gone into Jurassic Park and you've got Jurassic Park River Adventure here. Which kind of just doesn't make too much sense. Apologies for the camera, it's a bit wet out here, but it's a 20 minute wait for the Velocicoaster. We've got the Raptors protecting the area. We've got the coaster just peeking through here. The raptor. And there's the Velocicoaster coaster waiting for us in the pouring rain as well. It's going to be interesting. Did front row. We did front row on Velocicoaster and that's so much better. I don't even. That was me a second ago screaming. This part, this part just here, you get a good like three seconds where you're upside down over the top of the track. Over the, well, you can't see the people on, on the bottom here because you're so engrossed in it. But front row just that hits completely differently. You see so much more. As you crest over here, oh, over here, as you crest over the top, and you've got the entirety of Islands of Adventure in front of you, it just, just something else about it. Um, the Montosaurus roll, I think that's how it's pronounced, over the lagoon, you can see it coming up as you go into it. And you just, like, you're more aware of everything. You see all the raptors in the paddock. You can see the actual paddock a bit more as well. So you can see, like, the, the cage and the bars and everything, which you just don't see when you're, like, mid-row. So now, I want to do back row as well. But, my goodness, that front row, 
beyond the shadow of doubt tops like mid car and it just changed the entire ride experience Becky came off as well and she was like it's just so much better doing it there than it was in the middle you just get such a better experience of the ride so just gonna leave Jurassic Park now leaving Jurassic Park now and we're gonna head back into the wisdom world uh, the park unfortunately the parks closed quite early at the moment since Halloween Horror Nights has finished um, so we got 21 minutes until park close we're gonna go on to Hagrid's Magical Creatures motorbike adventure um, look at that that's it comes so close so so close we'll stay here a second as it goes past and you'll see what I mean because this is um, the free cauldrons I think it's the free cauldrons in Hogsmeade just here and the Velocicoaster comes right screeching past here we go one loops back on itself and then it comes back around again but right next to the patio there just incredible another amazing view this is a perfect I really like that I really that light now entering Hogsmeade again just coming back in here the, the Christmas decorations are incredible you got people doing all their interactive wand elements and it's just amazing uh, neat touch they, that all of the lands are different over the world so it again speaking about Japan a couple of times today uh, in Japan they've got a black lake and they have live owls flying around as well which is just a very neat touch so next up we're gonna go on Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure. 35 minute wait at the moment. Um, one of the things here at Universal, you have to put a lot of your goods in a locker. They do provide a free locker with a ticket. So you just scan your ticket. To re enter the locker after riding. All loose articles must be placed in the no locker. Cell phone. Yes, you know. And then it opens the lock for you. Nice and easy. This is uh, Zeus Landing. It's all decorated for the Hula Days. It's so awesome as well. They've really gone to town on the Christmas decorations here. And you've definitely, definitely got Christmas when you've got the Grinch. Merry Grinchmas. And um, I, I, I actually think 
I really think Zeus Landing is one of my favourite lands here at Islands of Adventures. Actually, at Universal Orlando. I, I think it's one of my favourite areas in Coming out of Zeus Landing, we've actually got the animations turned on on the trees now, which is really, really cool. So these look in. Oh, and we've got the Grinchmas sign up now as well. Oh, it's exciting. I'm just going to come in the Christmas shop here at the port of entry. Got all the Grinch merchandise out, ready for the holidays. Loads and loads of Christmas decorations. These are all really quite generic ones, though, unfortunately. We want to find some actual Christmas ones. Some universal Christmas ones. Magic Candle Company. And this is all L the Squirrel merchandise. There he is. You saw him in the video yesterday as he popped. Yeah, yesterday's vlog. It's come out a few days later, sorry. It pops out the Christmas tree. Universal ornaments. And then we go in, we got a whole bunch of Harry Potter ones as well. Harry Potter stockings. We don't have a fireplace though, unfortunately. I like this one. And that's basically it of the, the Christmas stuff. You can get these really amazing displays. Quite expensive though. So that's gonna be in the end of our tour of the Christmas store here at the port of entry. Come around and show you guys some of the treats that you can get here. This is the in, in the thing next to the Christmas Christmas store. Some really amazing pieces of candy. Loads of merchandise in here. I think this is kind of like their main gift shop here at Islands of Adventures. You've got the Christmas store and then you've got other bits and pieces and candy and sweets and whatnot as well. We got one of the Cat in the Hat cupcakes. That is a marshmallow dipped in chocolate and we've also bought some Christmas decorations as well. Um, it added up quick, it came to like a hundred bucks. <laughs> we spent way too much money today. What another incredible day here at Universal Orlando Resort. I'm really, you know, this is going to sound a bit controversial considering where we are. I'm really starting to prefer Universal to Disney. Disney's got some good rides, but this takes it, I think. Some of the, some of the rides, the Velocicoaster, Hagrid's Magical Creatures, um, Men in Black Alien Tag is like so dear to my heart. Um, it's been a really, really good day. We had a fantastic time. We spent way too much money. Bought my windbreaker. Bought a whole bunch of Christmas ornaments. Um, but we got a front row, hands-free ride on the Velocicoaster, which is something I've just been really wanting to do. 
and then I finished it off with Hagrid's Magical Creatures. Wow. Um, hopefully you enjoyed following along with us. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, give us a thumbs up. I do appreciate it, it really does help me out a lot. And it'd be great if you could hit the subscribe button and bell icon to be notified when we post all new videos. See you on the other side. Thanks.